I'm Loretta Paganini. I'm gonna show you how to make this fabulous spicy shrimp pasta, the Simply Gourmet way. The very first thing you wanna do is get some extra virgin olive oil. You wanna put about two tablespoons, enough to coat the bottom of your pan. Once you see that the oil is starting to ripple a little bit, we are going to add our chopped onion. You hear the sizzling sound? That's what you wanna hear. Just put a little bit of salt, maybe one teaspoon on top. The salt is going to bring out the juice of the onion and make it well a little bit faster. Being that this is a spicy sauce, we are going to add some crushed red pepper. How much pepper? Well, it depends how hot you like your food. I use usually about two pinches. At this point, we are going to add anchovy. I know a lot of people say, oh, I don't like anchovy. Well, don't put a lot if you don't like it, but put a little bit and you see it's gonna give such a wonderful flavor to your sauce. I don't wanna add the garlic too soon. If you add it too soon, the garlic is gonna burn and then it's gonna be very hard to digest. You can see that they are getting nice and soft and they are just starting to color a little bit. And that's the time when we are going to add our Roma tomato. When you're making a sauce, the best tomato to use are the Roma tomato. They are less watery in the salad tomato, and they are perfect in a sauce. Make sure that you look for tomato that they are nice and ripe. And then what we do, very, very simple, cut off the stem and then cut them in half. And then with the help of a spoon, just remove all the seed and the white pit right in the center. It's bitter anyway. And now I'm going to add tomato sauce. We are going to add fresh basil and some Italian parsley and last but not least, capers. How long should you cook the sauce? Well, a fresh sauce like this, 15 minutes at the most. You don't want to overdo it. And remember that a sauce should never boil, but just simply simmer. While our sauce is cooking, let's go ahead and cook the pasta. So our water is coming to a boil. Never add salt before the water boils, and how much salt? Well, you want your water to taste like the sea. So we are going to add our pasta. At this point, our pasta sauce has about five minutes to go. So now I'm gonna take my shrimp. These are farm-raised shrimp. One of the things that is important to do, I like to use them because you don't, um, run the risk of catching in the nets so many other sea animals. Remember, shrimp of all shellfish only takes about four to five minutes to cook. So we're gonna put them right in here. Oh my goodness, look at the sauce, how wonderful it is. And the beautiful part of this is that when your shrimp turn pink, just like that, they are ready. Now that our sauce is ready, Let's check our pasta and see if it's done. Mm, perfect, just a little bit to the bite, al dente. Remember, don't put any oil in the water with the pasta because it will clog all the wonderful pores the pasta have and it will make the sauce just slip away. Let's put it right in here. We are ready, the pan is really hot. Let's put it right in here. Ah, it feels just like home. Just so wonderful. Ah, look at this wonderful sauce and shrimp on top of your pasta. 
Now in Italy, they will never put cheese with a seafood pasta, but I happen to have some great Parmigiano Reggiano. Let's sneak a little bit on top. Oh, so delicious. From my kitchen to yours, remember, every day can be simply gourmet. Enjoy, ciao.